guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be speaking about how you can make some cash online in the UK, as well as the top eight profitable ways that you're able to do this. So stay tuned, get your notes ready and let's go. So first of all, let's have a look at what are the pros and cons to earning money online in the UK. Our first pro is a low cost setup. When we look at it from a business aspect, remote working means that there's lower maintenance and overhead costs. Examples of some of these costs would be electricity, warehousing, and much more. And as an employee, you obviously benefit from a work from home setup, which means that you can reduce both travel time and transportation costs. Our second pro of working remotely would be global audience targeting. So for example, even though we're managing a UK online business, we're still able to cater and target audience from all over the world. Also working from home eliminates the geographic limitations, which means that this remote setup can help us work with diverse individuals with suitable skills, regardless of where they are in the globe. Our third pro is that there's an increase in productivity and motivation in an online work setup. Working from home eliminates delays with traveling from home to work and vice versa. Also, both a comfortable and peaceful working environment helps us to concentrate better when working from home. And because of this, we'll be able to maximize our working time with fewer distractions, thus leading to more accomplished tasks. And our last pro would be the freedom and flexibility that comes with working remotely. A remote work setup allows us to carry out our tasks based on flexible timelines. So because we're at home, we have more freedom as to how we set up our workplace and we're able to feel more comfortable when performing our tasks. Okay, let's now have a look at what are some of the cons of remote working. And remember guys, you are able to check out the in-depth information of everything that I'll be mentioning in this video via the article on our blog page, which is linked in the description box below. So let's get into these cons. Our first con is converting your home to an office space. This is a prominent issue when making money online because our personal spaces become our workspaces too. And as a result, some job tasks can interrupt home chores. And not only that, you just start to resent your own home and personal space because you're constantly fixated on work. Our next con is that you have to comply with traditional regulations when earning money online in the UK. Since most of the online jobs include freelancing, you'll personally need to take care of your financial and legal obligations. For example, you will be responsible for registering your online business for necessary licenses and taxes. These traditional regulations and laws can become a lot to deal with at once, so it might be beneficial to hire a professional to help you out with all of these requirements. And our final con would be a work-life balance. And I'm sure if you work remotely, you can 100% relate. Sometimes the boundaries and lines between personal tasks and professional work can become unclear and blurred. Essentially, if you never leave your office, you'll constantly end up working overtime. This will eventually start affecting your overall well-being, and as I mentioned already, you'll start resenting your personal space. Remember, it's always necessary to put yourselves first. One way to achieve that in a remote work setup is by following a daily schedule to achieve your task goals. Right, so we've covered both the pros and cons of working online in the UK. Let's now have a look at the eight profitable ways to make money online in the UK. Our first online venture can be to create a blog. Creating a blog has become one of the most popular online ventures among the people in the UK. According to a survey that was conducted by Statista in 2020, revealed that UK bloggers received between 1,000 to 10,000 visitors on their sites. With this in mind, blogging is a vast industry and it comes with high competition. So if you're planning to earn money by creating a blog, here is some information to keep in mind. When creating a blog, you need to cater to a niche audience in order to attain the highest profit earning potential. Some of these blog examples include e-commerce, beauty and health, daily living, fashion, and much more. Some key factors to consider when creating a blog are providing relevance and valuable information, using keywords for search engine optimization, SEO, and of course, driving traffic to your blog page by implementing advertisements. To optimize your blog pages, you should consider purchasing a domain name because by doing this, it will help you with your unique branding and people will be able to recognize your blog. Another key factor to keep in mind when creating your blog is that you have to establish a content plan. 
A content plan allows you to identify when to publish content, as well as how many blog posts you need to prepare for. So we've covered some of the key factors to creating a blog. Let's now look at how you're able to earn money from creating a blog. So usually blogs are monetized through advertisements. So the more traffic your pages receive, the greater the chances are of you profiting from your blog. Just like anything, the first few months of blogging can be extremely difficult, oftentimes not earning more than a few pounds. But as you improve your blog and you attract more audiences in, those earnings can increase as much as 29,000 pounds, which believe it or not, is the average yearly salary of UK bloggers. Now, another way that you can make money at home in the UK is by starting a YouTube channel. So in order to start growing your YouTube channel you need to choose the nature of your content that you'd like to start sharing with your viewers. An example of some content can be travel vlogs, beauty tutorials, drop shipping tips, financial tips and so much more. So once you've established what type of content you'd like to start creating it's then time to create a YouTube account. So when you create your YouTube channel you need to utilize reliable equipment that can help you to produce high quality content. So for example you should have high quality cameras, noise cancelling, microphones, dependable computers, and with that some basic script writing and video editing skills. So remember that the key factors to attracting YouTube subscribers would be the content and the timeliness of the content that we're sharing. Therefore, you should continue to analyze the trends and identify the preferences of your target audiences. Also, once you start establishing your name as a YouTube influencer, Companies will then start inviting you to collaborate with them. This then means that advertising revenues will help to increase your earnings. Just remember that YouTube pays over £1,700 per 1 million views on your YouTube channel. This is great motivation to keep on producing that quality content. The third online venture that you can look into is to sell print-on-demand products. So with the POD business model, print-on-demand, we can produce designs for custom-made products. So where do we start in this venture? First off, we'll need a reliable print provider to source these products from for our business. Some of the most popular print-on-demand suppliers that we can work with are Printful, Printify, Etsy, and so much more. We've actually filmed so many print-on-demand YouTube videos, so make sure to check that out in our YouTube playlist. So once we found our POD supplier, we then need to search for a reliable white label company so that we're able to brand our packaging and items with our store's logo. So so what essentially makes selling POD products so profitable? For one, you're not required to hold any physical stock, so you do not need to worry about inventory costs. Secondly, POD items are specifically made for a per order basis, so you do not need to worry about any stock going to waste. And you're not limited to selling one POD trendy item. You can sell as many trendy POD products as you wish. For example, you can sell POD mugs, POD accessories, POD t-shirts, hoodies, and so much more. Just keep in mind that when taking on this online venture, you only work with top-notch suppliers that can produce the highest quality POD items. The fourth proven way on how to make money online in the UK is to buy and sell on marketplaces. This online business venture allows you to purchase goods from other sellers and then offer these same goods in your online store. This model allows you to set flexible prices on your products, allowing you to maximize your profit potential. Not only that, but the buy and sell setup allows you to also score bargains and sale items. This then means that you can sell these same sale items in your online store at a marked up price. So once you have a target marketplace where you want to start sourcing and selling your products, you need to then set up an account. Some of the most popular marketplaces, as we all know, are eBay, Amazon, and Facebook Marketplace. Some of the things to consider when selling on Marketplace is that you'll need initial capital to purchase products and then resell them. The other thing to consider is the selling fees in some marketplaces, such as eBay. And as an extra tip, to add value to the items that you'll be reselling, you can incorporate better packaging to the products that you'll be selling. For example, you can use sustainable packaging and you can add your store's logos to the packaging. Remember that your effort does go a long way and there's more to just maximizing your profit on a product that you're reselling. Your customers do notice the small things. So another great way of monetizing our content is by starting a podcast. Podcasts can be extremely overwhelming. So here are some steps to establish a substantial listener base. 
First, your podcast should have a theme. You should identify your target audience and the topics that you'd like to talk about. Since you're connecting with your audiences through audio, you have to establish a deeper relationship with them by discussing relatable contents. You should also keep in mind the frequency and the length of your podcast episodes. On top of that, proper equipment such as a good microphone and a soundproof room will do wonders for our podcasts. You should also keep in mind that you'll need quality recording and editing software as well as find a suitable podcast hosting platform. Some of the top podcast platforms include Buzzsprout, which is a platform that we use to host our podcasts, and another podcast platform would be Transistor. Remember, to start getting more people to listen to your podcast, you need to create relevant content. Once you've established that, you'll see a significant rise in your followers, and then you can start onboarding sponsors to pay you to advertise their products or their services. From there, you can then incorporate your marketing services to maximize your earnings. Some podcasters earn as much as £27,000 per week in the UK. If this is a motivation for you to start your own podcast series, I don't know what is. The sixth way that you can make money online in the UK is through affiliate marketing. Through affiliate marketing, you can advertise both the products and services of other companies. In return, you then gain commission for every marketing activity. And this will happen when customers purchase products or services through your specific affiliate link. So the ways that you can do affiliate marketing is by creating a page. For example, like a blog website where you can list all these products and services and create a call to action button. Like a hey, shop now button. And when customers click on this button, they'll be redirected to the seller's website. Another way to do affiliate marketing is by posting advertisements in buy and sell groups. By doing this, you can provide testimonials about certain products and you can entice the audience to try out these products or services by leaving a link in the caption that they are able to click on. For this online venture to become really successful, it's best that you try out these products or services first. This way, you'll be able to share a more realistic experience with your audience. A good tip to note is that affiliate marketers can earn more than £42,000 in annual commission, depending on, of course, the affiliate program. Another way to create a flow of income at home is by designing websites. There are about several platforms where you can advertise your skills as a website designer, such as Fiverr and Upwork. Through these platforms, you can easily find clients to offer your services, and you can build your portfolio up to attract more clients and to increase your rates. Besides this, you do need a reliable computer, fast internet, editing software, and as well as other essential equipment for website design. You also need to know basic knowledge and rules of website design. Remember that you are designing websites to offer audiences the best visual experience. In terms of how much you can earn from designing websites, it primarily depends on your skills, experiences, and complexity of work. But freelance website designers can usually earn more than £28,000 per year. And finally, one of the most effective ways to earn a passive income at home is by starting a UK dropshipping business. As we know, dropshipping is a low-risk online venture that does not require us to hold any physical inventory. The best part about this online venture is that it only requires a small starting capital. So for example, let's say that a customer places an order on your website for £37. Then you will purchase this product that your customer had ordered from your supplier's website for only £24. Upon checkout, you then input your customer's shipping details and then the supplier will deliver the package directly to your customer. You will then earn £13 as a profit from dropshipping. However, do remember that there is a lot that goes on behind the scenes in order for you to get the sale. So first off, we should utilize dropshipping tools for a more efficient business process. So these tools essentially carry out different business processes on our behalf in order to save us time. Secondly, we should source high quality products at reasonable prices. We can get our hands on these items from the best dropshipping suppliers such as AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, Walmart, and so much more. Apart from these factors, you'll also need to identify a selling channel where you'd like to offer these products to your customers. Some of the most popular selling platforms are eBay, Shopify, Facebook Marketplace, and Wix. You should also utilize marketing strategies in order to attract more traffic to your dropshipping websites. And overall, you can gain between 20 to 30% profit margin for dropshipping retail goods. So we've covered the eight profitable ways to make money online in the UK. Let's now see how dropshipping can tie in with the profitable ways of making money online.
So when we build our dropshipping websites on customizable e-commerce platforms such as Shopify and Wix, we are able to create a blog section to increase our organic traffic on these e-commerce platforms. Then having a YouTube or podcast channel can help us to showcase our dropshipping business through videos or audio. We can also link our dropshipping stores to these YouTube or podcast channels, which will of course increase our organic website traffic. Additionally, you can also have higher sales conversions when you promote your products. And you can do this by creating a playlist where you talk about the most trending products to drop ship. Next up, connecting POD products to drop shipping is super straightforward because they're essentially both the same business models. Also, you can buy products from Marketplace and then list them in your drop shipping stores. And of course, if you already have experience designing websites, then dropshipping is your calling. One of the keys to dropshipping success is to create both a user-friendly and great storefront that will help build your business brand. Righto, let's now have a look at some of the dependable automation tools that we can utilize on our dropshipping journey. Remember that through dropshipping automation, the everyday tasks of running our business is handled by the software. This means that it saves us loads of time. We have more freedom to direct our focus somewhere else in our business. So let's have a look at some excellent AutoDS drop shipping automation that we can enjoy. So first up, AutoDS offers quick and easy import automation methods. This allows us to list products in literally just a few clicks. With import automation, we don't have to go through the tedious process of manually copying and inputting product details. So with AutoDS, we can choose from four straightforward importing methods. The one-click importer, the single product uploader, the adding multiple product ID slash URLs, and of course, their bulk importer. By utilizing any of these straightforward automatic importing methods, we can optimize our product listings. The next automation feature that can highly benefit your dropshipping business is the price and stock monitoring feature. Through this feature, you can automatically monitor the fluctuations in prices and stocks of your products on the AutoDS platform. This feature also automatically updates both the prices and stocks on your selling channel. That means that both your products, stocks, and prices will always be up to date. Another great dropshipping automation software is the AutoDS product research feature. Manually searching for the best selling products to dropship can be a tedious process. That's why this product research tool can search for trending products from 25 plus reliable dropshipping suppliers. It can also analyze the sales potential of these products, which essentially enables you to maximize your profits. And the final automation software would be the AutoDS Automatic Order Fulfillment Service. This service is here to help us manage customers' orders easily. The feature allows us to monitor orders under one dashboard and it automatically fulfills customers' orders 24 seven. And boom, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in dropshippers and I hope you enjoyed all the information that was listed in this video. Remember, if you'd like to scale your online store for this Q4, stay up to date with all the latest dropshipping content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, by checking out our blog page via our websites. And of course, you can join our Facebook community group to ask all your dropshipping related questions or tune into our live Q&As that happens every bi-weekly Wednesday. This will give you the opportunity to engage with our e-commerce expert, Liran, where you can ask any of your dropshipping questions or concerns. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.